Hey book nerds, I'm Travis and this is Travis Reads Books. Today I want to do a quick review of a book I recently read called Shooter by Walter Dean Myers. This is one of the books I had my library special order in for me because I couldn't find it anywhere and I have to say I was a little disappointed. The book has an interesting structure in that it's comprised mainly of interviews, police reports, autopsies. At the end it has handwritten notes from a journal. It all revolves around a shooting at a high school, and the interviews are all with the friends and acquaintances of the killer. This sounds really interesting, but it has a couple fatal flaws. For one thing, all the interviews are covering basically the same subject and the same period of time. So while it's somewhat interesting to get different perspectives on the same events, you're basically reading a recap of the events leading up to the shooting, and then reading it again, and then reading it again. By the third interview, I didn't really care about the interviewee. I just wanted the last bit of information about the event that the book was withholding. The final section, which is the journal of the killer, could have been the most interesting, but it also falls flat. It feels less like a tormented soul and someone just trying to write the crazy words of a crazy person. It shed some light on the motivation of the killer, but it doesn't really develop him as a character you can relate to, or even one that you're particularly interested in. Another problem with this book is the language. Now, I realize it's a few years old, but I'm pretty sure teens never talk like they talk in this book. It feels very much like someone who is not a teenager trying very hard to emulate what he thinks teenagers sound like when they talk to each other, and it does not come off as authentic or realistic. This is one of the hardest things about writing YA when you're not a teenager, and if you don't nail it, then the whole book can unravel, regardless of how good your plot is. If you're wondering what I'm drinking today, it's Cake Boss Chocolate Cannoli. It's really good. It actually tastes like a chocolate cannoli. So overall, I think this book is an interesting experiment, but it ultimately feels inauthentic and repetitive and falls short of eliciting any kind of real emotional response from the reader.